The question of whether or not the United States should continue to back Taiwan against China is definitely a topic that has been in the news lately with the invasion of Ukraine from Russia. Now, it's definitely something that I feel the United States should continue to safeguard Taiwan for a few reasons. And to understand this, we have to actually go back to around 1949 in the Communist Revolution when Chiang Kai-shek, the leader of the anti-communists, fled to Taiwan and China was unable to annex Taiwan again with the United States uh, ever present in the uh, Asian theater. Now, if China is able to annex Taiwan and essentially invade and, and reacquire it as land of its own, it's only going to suit to fulfill China's empiristic uh, ideologies. Now, China has been very patient and is all too willing to bide their time and do what it takes to uh, actually achieve their goals. Uh, we've seen this time and time again as they have come from an extremely impoverished nations to have uh, one of the strongest economies in the world, despite uh, revolution and famine and uh, change of leadership, you know, most importantly with Mao and, and his great leap forward, uh, boosted them into communism. The fears of China annexing or taking over Taiwan have come to very real realization lately as most of, I think, the world is watching to see if China will follow suit with Russia, one of their greatest allies. Now, if China is allowed to annex Taiwan, uh, it's going to become, uh, where does it stop? Much like the fear with Russia is, is that they will continue to expand into Europe, China will continue to expand into other areas of Asia, most importantly, and I think most likely, Japan. China has a very uh, tumultuous history with Japan uh, going back long before the, the 17 and 1800s. And so China, I feel, is primed to want to continue their expansion, which is only going to lead to further conflict with the United States. Now, I don't believe that China would openly engage in conflict with the United States because the United States is China's biggest trading partner. However, I do feel that China is very willing to attempt to annex that land and attempt to exert itself as a dominant power in Western the or excuse me, in Asian theater. Uh, Japan and Taiwan, I feel, are the only things that keep China at bay. And if they are to fall, much like a domino theory uh, that we saw with Vietnam and communism, I feel that uh, China would, if they're able to gain Taiwan, they will set their sights next on Japan and whichever fledgling nation they're able to take from there.